Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. Do you know what today is? It is stock up grocery haul day. I'm trying to do this once a month and we're going right now. Like I said, we're doing this once a month and I'm trying to stock up on things that we use most often. So if you weren't here for the last haul, what I do is I've transformed my pantry downstairs. Let me show you. Form this little nook area to be kind of like our pantry overflow. And so I've already taken stuff from here and moved it to the other, um, like cans and things like that. Um, so I kind of know what I need to get to stock up. So you'll see like I'm gonna get some more mashed potatoes, some more of these um, mac and cheese, you know, some more waffle things and maybe fruits and just some more canned stuff. So hopefully they'll have everything that I need there. Plus I wanna get extras of like flour and rice with it being the holidays. So yes. So with our house and the square footage, this small pantry really doesn't make sense. So I've done the best that I can. So you can see that I have like these shelf rotation systems. I have a couple of them in here and I have thought about making meals with what I have. Plus I like to keep things on the bottom down here, oatmeal and beans and um, some of the gluten-free pastas are down there as well. So guess where we're going? We're hitting Walmart. Yay, let's go. So I have my wallet, I have my calculator, and I have my list. So important, I have that list and I'm ready to go in. Look at how cute all this fall decor is. They've rearranged all of my Walmart, so now I have to learn where everything is at. Getting <laughs> a tiny bit frustrated because everything is everywhere and they're remodeling my Walmart and it's taking so much time. I like to be able to get in, get out within an hour and it's been like an hour plus. Oh. You guys, I am so tired. Ah! Oh. Okay, so I spent about $230-ish. Um, I did have to buy like a frame and a couple of articles of clothes, but um, because it's my birthday, so I get to buy that. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a lot of the things that we stocked up on. And then I bought like a lot of little easy meals that would be easy for lunches or quick dinner ideas. So I'm a little disappointed at the Walmart today because they just are all over the place. Although looking very good, <laughs> they're remodeling. Um, it's just a very big mess. And so it's hard to find things but I was able to find things I've never seen before and I can't wait to share with you. So I'm just gonna go bag by bag and let's just unload. I'll try to get the freezer stuff out first. And we'll just go from there. Let's do this. Okay, first off, big thing of Diet Coke, not on sale when you go to Walmart or the two liters. So that's why I didn't get that many, but I'll hit the local bonds for the sale soon. I picked up some thin sliced chicken breasts. These are lifesavers for a quick dinner. If you haven't thought of something like around one or two and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I need to do? These are lifesavers because they cook so quickly. I picked up a couple of these tater tots. They're actually my favorite tasting ones and they're so good. So tater tot casserole, tater tots on the side of like we're having burgers or something like that very easy to make meals out of and then i bought some celery because i thought i could chop up the majority of this i like to have it in the freezer so i can make a really quick go-to soup or a casserole have you ever done that put the uh, celery into the freezer it actually cuts down the cooking time dramatically because it freezes and then it just softens really fast when it thaws out and it's already good to go so I just cook, put frozen right into the pot with the stew or the soup or the, the gravy, whatever I'm making, and boom, it's practically done. I picked up a couple of these brownie mixes. I'm just trying to get like some stuff kind of stocked up. Um, I don't have, I usually buy lots of brownie mix, but hey, we'll probably use it, I'm sure. I saw this and I have another one in the bag back here, but this is a gluten-free version of a stroganoff kit. 
it just looked really interesting to me. So I know Paul will hopefully like it. He does gluten-free meals and I thought this would be perfect for him. I did pick up some Grandma Sycamore bread. I believe I got two of them. This is our favorite, so I'll put those in the freezer, along with French bread. Their French bread is like the best to me. Dollar a pack, and I can put these in the freezer and use them when we're having like Sunday dinner, when I'm trying to make it a little bit fancy, a, a little bit more of, to the meal. And um, if you follow the Pioneer Woman, she has a really good recipe where you just put this put a lot of butter and broil it to almost like it blackens and it almost it changes the taste um kind of gives it like a cheesy taste it's quite miraculous actually but i just like it toasted and then i picked up a couple of these these are our favorite crystal lights they're like a dollar 68 or dollar 60 or something like that very good and i picked up some more broccoli i love to broil it Put it at 425 for about 15 minutes, maybe even 400. I have an ice machine going, can you hear it? Um, and then after it's cooked with you know some oil and salt and pepper, we love to drizzle lemon juice all over it. And then I picked up some more milk for cereal. All right, so next up, yes, here's the other one. I got this buffalo chicken uh, gluten-free dinner kit. It's like a, a macaroni and cheese. You just add the chicken, cooked chicken to it, and then you add all the toppings. Paul ate this before, and he really liked it. So we wanted to get another one, and that's why I got the stroganoff, because I think these little uh, quick, easy meals for him might be a very good thing for the week, during the week. Then I picked up some just little Debbie treats. I'm kind of hungry for dinner, so there are some more treats. <laughs> um, I picked up these. My boys, especially Kobe, loves lasagna. So I picked up these. These are good for like a Kobe size or maybe Jonas and Ezra, they can share one. So I'll keep you posted. Just picked up some meat, some ground beef, easy to put in the freezer, kind of stock up on. Um, I did pick up one of these. I was trying to find like this uh, honey barbecue one that Paul liked or and Jonas liked as well, but all I could find were these Buffalo styles and they're a little bit pricey too at Walmart. They were like 10 bucks for that box, but it probably would have been like 13 at Vaughn's. And then I picked up some more taquitos. This is actually a really easy way to make dinner really fast. It's just to cook these up, throw some cheese on that, have some chips and salsa type thing. Boom, Mexican food night. <laughs> I picked up some cheeses some parmesan and some mozz i have some um uh pizza crust in the back freezer that we can make some little mini pizzas had to get some more tortillas corn tortillas paul was out of his almond milk so he just picked up some of that and then i love getting these you guys these are flavored they're like diet sprites and there's strawberry apple i got cotton candy i always get that for the kids and then i got like uh tangerine mango i have some other ones there but look what i got this time just some vanilla um coffee creamer you add a splash of that into like strawberry or whichever one the apple then you have like a strawberries and cream i saw somebody do that on instagram and it looked so good and actually the kids really liked it so i can't i can't wait to try and i'll have to tell you how it goes so let me get this all put away and we'll keep going so this is the baking part i picked up some more butter we go through now that I cook more in the evenings and the goodies and treats and all the things, I use a lot of butter. And then I picked up these. I, I have another bag of muffins, but strawberry cheesecake, that just sounded pretty good. And I thought maybe for like a weekend breakfast idea, boys can help make those and they're pretty easy. They have, um, they just look like add a little milk and butter or something like that. Just, oh, just a little milk. I picked up some more cheddar cheese. That's good stuff. And I got some of this flour. This is my favorite flour. It's like a non-GMO, more integrity flour. Um, 
So it's probably, if you're talking like cost effect, it's at least twice as much as like the regular flowers, but I don't mind. I got French fried onions. So the last time I made a chicken casserole, I added this on top and everybody loved it. So that's why I picked up some more. Plus they're super good on salads. Picked up some sugar, just trying to stock up. And I picked up some chocolate chips. So some semi-sweet and milk. Milk is really good. It's actually our preference when we're having um, pumpkin muffins. And then of course the chocolate, the dark chocolate ones are good for chocolate chip cookies. Plus other cooking recipes. I got two cans of pumpkin, you guys, and I kind of feel like I was duped. Two dollars each. Ugh. I think we like anticipated that there would be a shortage. And of course the companies are like, let's drive the prices up. Ah! I picked up some cinnamon swirl bread. This one is going to be super good for an upcoming easy recipe that I want to show you. It'll be super fast. Pretty quick here. <laughs> I picked up a couple of boxes of the ziti and just to replenish what we use from the back pantry. I also picked up some of these sausages. These ones are like my favorite of all of the freezer sausages. This one is it. It fits the English muffins like perfect. And then I just picked up a couple of these in case I have some tuna. I also bought some top ramen just to kind of stock up. The boys, they do eat this from time to time. And if I can get ahead of it, then I'll even have some sliced uh, cooked chicken into it. So that way they can just have a little bit more protein in there. I picked up just a few eggs. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've ever bought this many at once. I just go through so many. My breakfast of choice is two eggs and a piece of toast. And I've been doing that forever, it feels like. So that by itself, I could just take one for like a week and a half. But these, I do so much cooking now. And I also picked up some more vegetable oil, oil just to stock up. So on to the next. All right, so I picked up some of this gluten-free flour. I love to have this on hand and I'm able to like substitute regular flour for this for when I'm making things for Paul and it'd come out really good. So I just made him some pumpkin muffins not too long ago, yummy. Picked up some of these. So when Paul's having his gluten-free meals, I can be making some of these for me and the kids anyways. So we'll see, that looks kind of good. I picked up some cans. So six of these, these bigger tomato sauces, and then I picked up six of the smaller ones as well. Good for our food storage. We're just keeping things nicely stocked. And if you're um, looking to stock up and not go crazy, do you know what I mean? Like a pallet or something. If you just need like 10 or less, then I think going to Walmart or, or, um, or Winco would be your best bet because they have like those prices, those discounted prices all year long. Um, I picked up a couple more of those sloppy joe mixes, which I've made it by myself before. I'm just keeping these on and stocked up into the pantry for quick dinner ideas. And then I saw this sitting on a shelf all by itself. Dr. Pepper baked beans. What? So I can't wait to try this. It might just be me by myself, but that sounds so good. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had these before. And then right behind me here, I got two bags of tortilla chips. We just love having those quick and easy for um, having some nachos. Plus I picked up some chips for the kids. They're like the multi brand or the multi different taste flavors that are the Walmart brand. And so they have salt and vinegar in there, which I love. And then I picked up some more potatoes and this one is our favorite, favorite laundry soap. It's for sensitive skin and it has like this plus fresh scent, which I, I know I've told you before, but I had one of my neighbors, like she, I was doing like a dress party and she wanted to check out sizes. So I, ha I took over one of the dresses that I had and she's like, what is your laundry soap? It smells amazing. Well, this sensitive stuff is not as strong as like the Tide or you know all the extra fragrancy things but it has a really good smell that's light and I think that's what she liked about it. 
And I also picked up these yummies. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I'll hide them. Hmm. We'll see. I still have some more to show you, but near the end. Okay, so I picked up some of these peanut butter kind bars, which Paul loves. They're gluten free, and we like having them for his lunches. And then I picked up some of these uh, Go Go squeezes in a different variety pack. Ezra loves these. These are great, easy snacks for him. He still has a little bit left from when I went to Costco, like in August. That's how long they lasted. That's amazing. So we're just getting to where we're trying to like stock up some of these little treats and stuff again, like two months later. Yeah, two, two and a half months later. Wow. I picked up some more sour cream. Love that on a baked potato. And a couple of Pregos. Those are our favorite, our favorite sauce. And I picked up some bacon. And I picked up some of these broccoli florets. I just want to kind of, now that we're kind of getting more into the, the fall and to the winter, I'm going to start stocking up on, in our freezer some of these yummy freezer foods. And then I picked up some carrots because I like to chop them up and put them also in freezer bags and put them in the freezer. So I'll have my celery, I'll have some broccoli, I'll have some carrots, and then of course corn, right? Then I'm just ready to go with as many different meal ideas right at my fingertips, right? Then I also picked up some uh, mashed potatoes and then I got like a, a wrinkle uh, release. I wanted to try to see if that would work. I'm buying some curtains and I, you know, I just, have you ever used this? I've never used it, so I don't know if it works. Let me know if it works. And you guys, ah, $230 later. I would even say 220, but holy mackerel, that is a lot of stuff. And it's like my favorite. Once a, once a month, I am going to get this all going to stock up our pantry just to make sure that we are ready for whatever comes our way. Loss of job, the more illness, who knows, we're gonna be set. Now I gotta start buying some more toilet paper. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the video today. Give it a thumbs up and let me know if you're stocking up your pantries and what you're working on right now. I know some of you are doing some uh, toiletries, some are doing like food items, some cans. Let me know. Have a wonderful day, rollers. Stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.